Hey, right, everybody. Matt from Nerd Knights Painting. Last episode, Jaws of the Lion. We're going to be doing the demolitionist. Sorry for the terrible picture. I forgot to take one before I started painting it. Hey, this is your uh, first time at the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this party going. We're uh, we're moving up there. We're already at uh, 238, I think, right now. Let's keep let's keep it going. Because we're gonna be doing frost haven, we're gonna be doing everything else. So let's get this uh, let's get this party started. We're gonna be using the card art um, for this miniature. Now it is a very small miniature, and it is kind of a pain in the butt. But we're gonna do an easy approach for shading to make it look good without using too much. So we're gonna turn that ugly piece of gray miniature into this. Ooh, pretty fancy looking uh, miniature that's super tiny. Uh, so we're gonna be using a small brush here. Um, but not looking too bad for the amount of time we're gonna put into it. Uh, so let's uh, let's get that let's just figure that out right there. Um, and we're gonna be uh, painting the whole thing. Look how fancy I got. Yeah, it's super fancy. Thank you, Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them. I do not have anything on there, but maybe one day, maybe one day. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go. All right, we're gonna start off by painting the body, a little Xandri dust. Um, and if you don't have these exact paints I'm using, because I primarily use Citadel paints, because I was suckered into it when I very first started painting miniatures a long, long time ago, just do something comparable. Uh, kind of get look at the picture on the screen and figure out, oh, I have a color that looks kind of like it. Just do that and just remember what you do or what you used when you're painting. Write it down or just keep them out on your desk like I do. So we're going to be hitting the face, the chest, and the skin areas. We're also going to be hitting the arms or whatever they are for this miniature. Um, I guess they're kind of like rockets, I guess. And the back. I don't know, we just start playing Jaws the Lion. And he just destroys stuff. That's not a spoiler, but it is a fantastic game. I'm a fan of all Gloomhaven games. For the bandana, I'm going to be using a little Screamer Pink and just hitting that, that top portion of the bandana. Make sure we're thinning our paints. Um, I use a wet palette. If this is your first time watching the video, I'm using a wet palette. Um, and I'm gonna probably make a video of how I do my setup here pretty quick. If you guys wanna see it, leave a comment below if that's what you wanna see. For the beats, or whatever the demolitionist is wearing, we're using a little Mephiston Red. Now, oh, this miniature is primarily white. So it might take one to two coats as long as you're thinning your paints to cover the entire surface area of whatever you're painting. Next we're going to be doing the arm portion or the shoulder pad for the left shoulder pad. If you're looking at it, it's the right shoulder pad. Same with the uh, red on the little portion on uh, below the shoulder pad on it, if you're looking at it, underneath the right shoulder pad. Yep. And the portion on the right hand. Now I'm gonna kind of skip around a couple paints, so it is does behoove you to use a wet palette during this process, as you can save your paints and not waste any. For 
For the left shoulder pad, we are using a little Averland Sunset for a nice base coat. While you're looking at the card art, you can probably notice a little yellow heart on the red portion of the right shoulder pad. We're gonna hit that real quick. Just make your best effort at a heart. And we're gonna be using the same color to do the little markings on the bandana. I just did little straight lines, different variations of sizes real quick. If you wanna do something crazy and spend an, an insane amount of time doing little designs, go for it. I get that kind of time. For the suspenders, we're using a little Steel Legion Drab. Now if you mess up and get it onto the other paints, just let it dry and then go over it with the other paint, not a big deal. Make sure you get the back portion of the miniature and uh, yeah. After the Everland Sunset is done drying, we're gonna go back to the Mephiston Red and do another little heart on the yellow. How cute. For the copper areas, we're using a little screaming bell. Uh, just follow along what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of hard to tell you exactly what I'm doing because the miniature is so small and it's kind of hard to describe things. So just watch what I'm doing and just follow what it, what's, what's going on. We're primarily just hitting the areas where the gem sockets are at on the rockets, the hand rockets. For the pants, we're using a little Nagaroth Knight purple. And we're gonna be thinning this down here and I think in the next stage. Don't forget the back portion behind the legs. For the front little knee pad, we're using a little Sabarite green. For the armor leggings, we're gonna use a little Retributor armor and just do the front and the back.
For the pieces of cloth that are kind of hanging down from the miniature, we're using a little Tau Light Okri, if that's how you pronounce it. Now, if you're just sitting here uh, watching and you're thinking, oh man, this could be a pretty good, decent model, you know, Matt, Matt's not doing a bad job. Hey, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Ain't got nothing to lose, let's go, come on. And just follow along with them, do with the video with the rest of this uh, Tau Light Okra. For the belt portion, we're going to be using a little uh, neutral gray from model color. You can use Mechanicus standard gray if you want, or if you have something comparable, just use that. I'm just using this because it's kind of like a bleh color. That's basically it. For these vials or pieces of dynamite, I'm not sure what they are, we're using a little Troll Slayer Orange on the back side. Back to that Mephiston Red for those other couple little pieces that are on the back side real quick. And for the belt, we're gonna go back to the neutral gray, just real quick, or whatever you're using. For the front belt buckle, we're gonna use a little Genihana's gold. And for the side rails on the rocket hands, or whatever they are, we're gonna be using a little Genihana's gold. For the gems, we're gonna use a little white. Um, I'm using monocolor white, but you can use anything you want, just your basic flat white. And then we're gonna come back to this here in a second for the eyes after we black them out. So um, keep it on your wet palette and keep it ready to go. For the eyes, I'm using straight black. You can use whatever kind of black you want, but just no other color variation, just black. All right, go ahead and take your white again and fill in some eyeballs. And we're gonna be uh, taking it to step two as we're done with the base colors. Now you're probably thinking, oh, what about the explosion? We're gonna do that last and I'll show you why. So, step two.
Taking the little army painter quick shade strong tone. This is going to be the secret to this miniature because it's just going to fill everything in in one shot and we're ready to go. Give it a good shake and we are going to douse this thing. You can dip it in there if you want. I've seen this done on miniatures before. I'm not a fan of that. Just take a brush and start putting it on there. Put You can put as much there as you want because we're going to take as much off as we can here in a second. So does that make sense? Probably not. Put it on there, and then when it starts pooling in the recesses and it's too much, it's too pooled up, that's when we're gonna take a regular brush, or the brush you're using, dip it into that section, and put it on a paper towel or whatever you got, and take it off. I'm just going over the model here and I'm taking off pooled areas. And as you can see, this quick shade works very well in shading the miniature. Now, once you're done with it and you feel like that you've gotten most of the shade up and you like where the shade's at, you're gonna let it sit. I live in a dry climate, so it only took a couple hours, but maybe let it sit overnight if you live in a wet climate and it's damp or cold. After it's finally dry and you've completely let it dry, it's gonna be really glossy. So you're gonna need some um, Tester's Dole Coat. Shake it up, put your little mask on, and or do it outside and spray this whole miniature down and then let it set again for another 20 to 30 minutes to let that Dole Coat take effect. At this point, you have a shaded miniature with all the base colors. If you want to quit right here, you could, but let's add some highlights to make it a little bit better. For the red portions, we're going to be using a little Wild Rider Red. So the shoulder pads, um, we're going to be focusing on during this. Go ahead and also hit the beats that he's wearing. I don't know what he's listening to. I don't know what he's listening to. Maybe something cool, maybe some techno. Maybe he's listening to the song that I got in the background right now. Probably not, but whatever. And the red portions on the belt, go ahead and hit that as well. We're gonna go back all over the skin features, which is some regular sand you just to start. Um, so hit all those spots. You're doing the forehead, the nose, the cheekbones, and the front portion of the chest. Um, and then we're gonna hit, we're gonna mix a little white in there here in a second. All right, if you did one full brush full of Xander dust, do like a quarter brush full of white. So a four to one ratio, just to give it a little bit of, of um, lighter tone. And then we're gonna go back over the nose, the forehead, a little bit on the chest, and areas that you would believe that the sun would hit. So just look what I'm doing and kind of follow that. For the pants, mix a 50-50 of Jean Stiller Purple and Nagaroth Knight, and we're going to be doing the pants. Uh, mostly the front portion of it with a little bit of that cloth that's sticking out. 
You don't really have to worry about the back portion because that would be an area where the light wouldn't hit. Uh, once you did that, you let it dry. Just do some regular jean steel or purple, just a little bit on that front portion of his leg sticking up on the front of the model. For the orange bits, we're going to be using a little Fire Dragon Bright to uh, lighten that up a little bit. And then for the areas that we hit with the Tau Light Okri, we're gonna be using a little trail, Troll Slayer Orange to kind of brighten those up a little bit. Don't do the whole thing, just get like the, t the top portion of it to make it like a contrasting tone of the two colors. Hit the bandana up again with Screamer Pink. Now don't go over the yellow portions you already did, but just do the portions that you can see. This has kind of got a couple wrinkles in it. Just do the raised areas just a little bit, just to kind of brighten up just a little bit from the strong tone that we just used. The suspenders, uh, we're gonna go over it with a little Bane Blade Brown, just to kinda give them a little different type of tone from what the Steel Edition Drab was. Don't do the whole thing, just kinda hit uh, about 80% of it to leave the two tones of color. And the pant leg that I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using a little jean steel or purple straight up out of the uh, pot or just mixed, obviously. For the eyes, we're going to be using a little Emperor's Children. Now just real light coat, hit that white portion and that's it. All right, we're gonna be doing a little dry brush over the white portions of the gemstones. We're gonna be using Niblet Green, really light. And we're just gonna be going back and forth on those white gemstones. And what you want is kind of a glow effect per se. That white is going to catch on to, or sorry, the niblet green is going to catch on to that white very easily. It's going to hit the surrounding areas to give you that kind of glowing effect. So very light, very quickly um, do that. All right, we're going to start on the shoulder pad again. We're going to use a little flash glitz yellow to brighten that up a little bit. We're going to be doing that, and then we're going to be doing the top portion of the bandana, those areas to get that brightened up a little bit. Don't forget the little uh, little heart on the on the shoulder pad. Ew, it's so pretty. Hey, hit those bandana portions uh, real quick, 
and that's basically it for the yellow. Reapplication of Genihana's gold in the rails on the rocket hands. For the place we hit with neutral gray, we're going to hit with administratum gray just to brighten them up a little bit. Don't do the whole thing, just hit the top portions of it. For the rockets that shoot out, the little holes, I guess, you're going to hit with a little rune fang steel. Just kind of scrape it, kind of like your edge highlighting a little bit. Just scrape, scrape it, just scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. To brighten up the gold pieces, a little Auric Armor Gold to make them look a little bit brighter and better. All right, home stretch, folks. Uh, we're going to be working on the explosion, his rocket boot explosion type thing. Uh, you're going to do this in fast order. So thin your paints with some water, and we're going to be doing this quick. So uh, first thing we're going to be doing is the top portion of this, and we're going to be doing a little Averland Sunset. We're going to be doing a little kind of a wet blending type thing. You can use medium if you want. Uh, I didn't. I just did it quickly, as quick as possible with a little bit of water in there. Second layer is going to be uh, Flash Glitz Yellow. So you got your Avalanche Sunset. The next layer moving farther down towards the model is going to be Flash Glitz Yellow. Third layer, more towards the bottom, that you're going to be mixing in is going to be a little Troll Slayer Orange. The next is going to be Evil Suns Scarlet we're mixing in. Now you can blend these two colors together to kind of give you a little variation between going from orange to red, but just doing it real quick. So just follow what I'm doing. You're going to be using a little dark gray from Vallejo or something comparable. If you want to mix a little Mechanica Standard Gray with some black or gray and a little bit of black, do that. And then finally, the very last portion of it you're going to be mixing kind of in with that gray is going to be your black. Once those colors are dry, hit it with a little Fugin orange, and that'll kind of blend all those colors together. And once it dries, it'll look real nice. We're gonna do a little extra. You don't have to do it, 
real quick, we'll just do some extra after dry. Take a little white and start painting into the cracks and crevices. Just do a couple, two, three, four, five, and we're just gonna cover that with, with some Lamenter's yellow here in a second, and that kind of gives you like a breakup of the pattern. You don't have to do this. It'll look fine if you don't do it, but I did it. It's okay. It's quick. Cover that with a little Melinter, Lamenter's yellow and over the white and you'll see like, oh, it's kind of like an explosion that's breaking through the, the cloud of smoke. Kind of cool, not really, whatever. And for the best part of painting the miniature, the base. Base, 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 black. And there we have it. He's done. Or she. I don't know what it is. But it's not bad. Not bad for what we did. That's a hard model of paint. It's tiny. So pat yourself on the back. She did a fantastic job. This picture with a little bit of light. Um, got really good contrast. Really good shading. I'm a big fan of the strong tone, but I don't use it for everything because it just doesn't look good on everything. But I thought this was an appropriate time to use it because this is such a small model. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, this channel's grown tremendously since we started it. We're almost a quarter way to a thousand. We're getting more people. I feel like it's really getting built up. So like, subscribe the channel, um, leave a comment what you want to see painted. I'll paint whatever you want, even if it's an old game. I don't care. I just, you know, I need something to do besides my regular job. So. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you watching the video and taking time out of your busy day to, you know, to watch this and uh, follow along. So, all right. See you next time. Paint on.